If you love cottagecore and at the same time your soul yearns for darkness, like mine does, then dark cottagecore might be a great fit for you and your small apartment. Dark cottagecore takes the earthy, cozy, and cottagey look of typical cottagecore and just adds a little bit of a dark, moody, and sometimes witchy edge. Like both have forest fairy vibes to me, but while regular cottagecore would take place in a magical, peaceful forest, dark cottagecore would take place in an enchanted, haunted forest. So how do you create the dark cottage core look in your apartment? In this video, we're gonna explore this dark and dreamy interior style as if I were designing a dark cottage core living room. And shout out to Kenya Brunson for requesting a dark cottage core video in response to my Instagram story question. When I saw this one, I was like, I was born to make this video. So dark cottage core it is. And if you're new here, my name is Steffi and on this channel I talk about small apartment styling tips, cozy living, and the joys of living alone. So if you're into that, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. So before we dive into my specific decor recommendations, let's briefly establish what dark cottagecore is. If you're not familiar with regular cottagecore, it's basically an aesthetic that conveys a romanticized version of country cottage life with an emphasis on cozy simplicity, a wholesome, often granny chic nostalgia, and earthy, nature-oriented pastimes like foraging for mushrooms or tending to your garden. For city folk such as myself, cottagecore is a very enticing style because it exemplifies everything we don't have. Cottagecore feels like an antidote to modern day city living. And I definitely think that's part of its appeal. And dark cottagecore, to me, is regular cottagecore meets whimsy goth meets witch aesthetic. There's definitely a lot of crossover in these particular styles. But what I think sets dark cottagecore apart is its emphasis on nature and a rustic earthiness those forest fairy vibes I mentioned earlier. And one of the challenges here is how do you do dark cottage core in a rental apartment that is likely in the city? If you think about it, rental apartment in the city is basically the antithesis to what cottage core represents. So if you're living in an apartment in the city, you're trying to achieve this paradox of urban cottage core. So how do you do this look in an apartment? These decor ideas that I'm going to share with you might give you some inspiration on how to achieve the spirit of dark cottage core in your apartment, specifically if we were designing your living room together. And before I share these, just keep in mind, first and foremost, if you're doing dark cottage core, I definitely recommend you start with a local thrift store near you or antique shop because buying things secondhand just fits with dark cottage core as a concept, which is inherently in opposition to corporate consumerism. So thrift store shopping is going to be ideal for this style. But in addition to finding thrift store and antique pieces, here are some items that you could buy right now if you wanted from the internet or just simply get inspired by. So let's start with decorative accents because in a rental apartment, it really is going to be these little style details that will convey the majority of your dark cottagecore look. 
So here are some decorative accents that I pulled together that would definitely convey a dark cottagecore aesthetic. We have one of the quintessential cottagecore visual motifs, which is mushrooms. We have this mushroom lamp, which would cast such a pretty moody glow in the space, as well as this little dome, almost terrarium looking thing. This particular piece would definitely help convey the more whimsical vibes that dark cottage court tends to have. And then we also have this set of vintage looking botanical wall art pieces, which have, of course, mushrooms and dark floral imagery. And then when it comes to this mirror, I think anytime you can find something that conveys like a, a dark enchanted foresty vibe, then you're gonna be on the right path to dark cottage core. And then you also have these really pretty dainty hanging frames that would be perfect for dried florals like they have here. I really do think dried florals are perfect for any kind of cottage core. And this would be a really pretty way to display them. Also in a dark cottage core living room, some dark botanical wallpaper would be so pretty and would make such a strong statement. This particular wallpaper is done by the same Etsy shop that does my wallpaper that I have in my living room, and I highly recommend them. And this particular wallpaper of theirs is perfect for dark cottage core. Also with dark cottage core, any sort of antique looking thing like this lamp will definitely contribute to the dark cottage core look. This one in particular not only looks antique, but it also has little leaves at the top and the actual light fixtures look like flowers. So again, leaning into that nature focused look. And then finally, for a dark cottagecore look, you definitely can't go wrong with some dark, moody florals or plants, like these faux sprigs in particular. I think these dark, sort of purpley leaves give off just the right amount of menacing witchy vibes that I think they would make a really cool, interesting statement in a dark cottagecore space. Now let's move on to a specific kind of decorative accent, which is the, the soft things, blankets and throw pillows and the like. And these soft things would look awesome in a dark cottagecore room. Again, we have the, the mushroom visuals in this throw pillow. Really, when it comes to cottagecore, when in doubt, just put a mushroom on it. <laughs> it's like that Portlandia sketch where they're like, put a bird on it. What a sad little tote bag. I know, I'll put a bird on it. Did you see this bag before? I didn't. Now there's a bird. <laughs> it's flying. It's free. Put, put a, a bird, bird on it. it. Put a mushroom on it is the main takeaway of this video. And then you also have a couple rug options here. One definitely leaning into the en enchanted witchy side of things. This almost looks like if you were laying out in your backyard outside of your little cottage looking up at the night sky through the flowers of your garden <laughs> that is the vibe and then for a more conventional but still very strong statement making rug option there's this one if you love rifle paper stationery then you'll probably love this rug because it's it's by Rifle Paper Co. And this one would definitely lean into the more botanical side of dark cottage core. Remember, forest fairy vibes. If there's ever any question in your mind, just ask yourself, what would a forest fairy do? And then you also have this pretty simple throw, but I thought this would be a perfect addition to a dark cottage core living room because it has a, a rustic, almost like picnic blanket look to it. And then when you do that look in black, that pretty much embodies dark cottage core. Like this looks like something that you would keep in your picnic basket in your dark cottage core home. 
And then we have some throw pillows with various animals because again, nature is definitely a theme with this style. Then you have this blanket, which to me, this looks like the view that you could potentially see from your dark cottage. Like you walk outside your door and this is your view in, in, our, in our fantasy of what a dark cottage core cottage would be. And then I also included this more simple country-ish looking pillow because much like the, the black checkered throw, it kind of reminded me of a picnic blanket and it would definitely bring things more down to earth, especially if you're leaning into the more whimsical, fantastical imagery that dark cottage core can display. It's good to have more simple, classic pieces that kind of grounds things again. And then of course, every living room needs a couch. And when it comes to couches, I mean, you could go one of two ways. You could get a couch that goes full force with the dark cottagecore style in its most like saturated form, or you could go with a, a more simple, neutral couch and then that would be a good sort of baseline for the more statement making pieces. So I pulled together kind of a mix of both. I have three couches here that are a more neutral solid color. One being the Sven sofa which is what I have in my living room only in gold velvet. Highly recommend this couch. It's extremely comfy. However if you have a cat I might not recommend this couch to you because something I didn't consider <laughs> with this couch is the, the little divots, uh, the tufting divots in it. Um, they're basically cat litter collectors. <laughs> so when Hilo has her cat litter stuck to her paws, um, it pretty much just gathers in these little divots. So something to consider. It, yeah. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but other than that, it's a very comfy, lovely couch. So, and then we also have this dark brown couch, which would help convey the, the earthiness of dark cottage core. And then this green sectional from World Market, which I've actually seen in person and sat upon myself. And it's a really nice couch for a very decent price. Like it, if feels really comfortable. So just from uh, my experience with it in store, I would definitely recommend this, um, this sectional, especially for a small apartment. It's actually a pretty compact <laughs> sectional. And then in addition to the more neutral couches, I also have some more statement making couches like this checkered one, which again is kind of playing into that picnic blanket kind of vibe I was talking about definitely gives a little bit more of a countryside vibe. And then these other two couches would lean into the floral side of dark cottage core. And they look kind of old fashioned, sort of like something you could find in an antique store, but they're anthropology. <laughs> But again, these are the more statement making couches and would therefore be tougher to pair with uh, the various accessories you would want to incorporate for dark cottage core. So I personally would probably lean on the side of the more neutral couches so that I have the freedom to just accessorize however I want. But a big statement making couch is also a very valid choice. <laughs> And then every living room needs a media console for the television because I've said it before and I will say it again, I am not above having the TV on full display as the focal point in the living room. Basically, I say style around a TV. Don't try to hide it. Don't listen to the designers who tell you not to make your TV a focal point because Functionally, I believe that is wrong and kind of snobby. Anyway, these are some media consoles that I think would look awesome in a dark cottage core living room. Like this one with its dark, worn looking wood. Like this actually looks like you could have potentially found it in a barn, but like in a chic way. 
Same thing with this one, with its worn looking wood, but it also has this ornate look too. It's somehow rustic and fancy at the same time, which honestly, I feel like that's dark cottagecore vibes too. Then this one has a rustic look in a different way. You have some very solid looking, beautiful wood. And honestly, this wood almost looks like the kind of wood that you would find in a cottage, you know? I could picture a cottage being made with wood that looks like this, says the city girl who knows absolutely nothing about bu building a cottage. <laughs> but you know what I mean. This just looks, it looks like cottage wood. <laughs> Either way, it would, it would give a nice, earthy, rustic look. And speaking of beautiful wood, this one, I mean, it looks like you could have just gone outside and cut a tree down and added legs to it, <laughs> you know? Basically any live edge wood pieces are gonna be great for a, a cottage core space, a rustic space, a country space. You can't go wrong with a live edge piece. And then this next one is definitely more on the whimsical side of the cottage core spectrum. Like this to me looks like something straight out of a, a Grimm's fairy tale without being over the top. Like it's still down to earth and rustic with a little bit of a, a floral embellishment that adds some whimsy. And then finally, this piece is ideal for a dark cottage core space because it looks like something that was handcrafted by fairies in an enchanted forest using the branches of magical wood. See, this is the thing about dark cottage core or really any style that has some whimsical elements to it is anytime your your brain tells a story like that and kind of goes off on a flight of fancy that means you're doing it right and then the final core living room piece I'm gonna talk about is the coffee table, which can also be an accent table that you use as a coffee table if your living room is small enough. For example, in my studio apartment that I lived in, I used a small accent table as my coffee table because the space was so tight. So when you look at these, consider that accent tables could also be coffee tables for a really tiny space. And boy, did I find some stunning pieces in this category. I was kind of blown away, actually. Once again, you have the mushroom visual in the form of an accent table, which I think would be so cute in a dark cottage core living room because it adds a little bit of playfulness while not being over the top. Like it's still stylish, you know? It's not cheesy. And then this coffee table looks like a vintage piece that you would find in a cottage with its scalloped edges that give kind of a floral look, as well as, of course, the painted florals themselves. This would definitely be a, a feminine yet still earthy addition to a dark cottage court living room. And then we also have a couple epoxy side tables and captured in the epoxy are these beautiful florals and leaves. Genuinely, I think these two pieces are like peak dark cottage core. It, it doesn't get more dark cottage core than this, in my opinion. And then we also have another live edge situation in this coffee table. This is a really beautiful piece that would definitely be a celebration of nature in the living room. Breathtaking, honestly. It would be a really beautiful centerpiece. Then we have this admittedly more modern coffee table but still looks like it could have been from an antique store. And I really like this for a dark cottage core living room because it has the nod to nature with its sort of petal shaped perimeter. And even though it's a little bit more modern, it still to me looks like something you could find in grandma's cottage, you know, with a dash of the 1970s thrown in which I'm always a fan of. 
And then I also threw in this coffee table as well, which is not as visually stunning as the other pieces, but I included it because of its dual functional nature. The fact that you can pull this up into kind of a, a table or a desk makes it great for a small apartment. In small apartments, we usually don't have space for a, a dining area, so having this would be a way to have a, a, a dining table of sorts. <laughs> if you have the, the, the floor space, then this could be a good option if you want to have a sort of table to eat at. And then finally, of course, we have more mushrooms. <laughs> This little black mushroom side table is, of course, perfect for a dark cottage core room. It is black and it has the, the very cottage core visual motif of the mushroom that I have touched on many times in this video. <laughs> If you're really short on space, but you want just a little surface to at least like set your, your coffee on while you're sitting on your couch, then this would be a great option. It's tiny, but it also very much displays some dark cottage core energy. So those were some specific decor pieces that I thought definitely embodied the spirit of dark cottage core. And of course, we all know that the tricky part is bringing everything together in the space. Like we shop for decor and how do we get a sense of what it could all look like together? That's when I recommend creating a mock-up. And it can really help you make decisions on what to buy and what not to buy. So here's the mock-up I created with some of the pieces that I featured in this video. Now in a real world living room, you would of course have a mix of different things. It would be a mix of things that you own already and then new things that you buy. And nobody's really ever going to stick to just one style strictly. Like this mock-up is definitely like a strictly dark, cottagecore room. You could also argue that it's witch aesthetic or whimsy goth, but basically it's, it's tonally all the same thing, which I would advise against. You know, we want some variety and visual interest, but for the sake of this video, this is like a full-blown dark cottagecore living room. So when doing this in Canva, which is the, the tool that I use, when doing this in Canva, it's so easy to just switch things out, you know, just drag pictures of the things you're thinking about buying and then just play around from there. If you played The Sims growing up like I did and your favorite part was building the houses and designing the rooms, then you'll love creating mock-ups in Canva. It's basically the same thing. Only there are no Sims to kill off in cruel and unusual yet creative ways. So that was my take on dark cottagecore. Thank you again to Kenya Brunson for suggesting this topic. Let me know in the comments below what interior style do you think I should dive into next? Let me know in the comments. What style do you think I should cover next, Hilo? Catcore. Hmm. Okay. And if you love dark cottagecore, then I recommend you watch this video of mine next, which is all about whimsy goth, which has a lot in common with dark cottagecore. So if you want even more ideas on a very dark and magical style, watch this one next. <laughs>